In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a Docker image that you've built and publish it out onto Docker Hub so that you can easily share it with your coworkers or you can deploy it into an environment in the cloud. First thing I'm going to do is show the very simple application that I have here. It's just a simple express application for Node and it just says hello world on the root path and it listens on port 4000. But Really, the contents aren't too relevant for this. We're just going to, any old Docker image would be fine to publish. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have an account at Docker Hub. Let me switch over and show you. Here, I have a Docker Hub account, and I have no repositories right now. So what I'm going to do is create a repository that I can push new images into. I'll click here. And this one, I'm just going to call it Hello World. And it's going to be scoped under the Docker Videos um, account. So Hello World doesn't have to be unique in all of Docker Hub, just under your own account. And we'll give it a simple description. And we'll leave public visibility. It's fine. And it makes pulling from other people easier, pulling from uh, hosting providers easier. And we'll create it. OK, so we've created a new repository where we can push images into and other people will be able to pull once we have. Um, but right now we see never pushed. So let's switch back, build the image we want to push and publish it. So we'll run docker build in our current directory. Okay, great. And we can see we successfully built an image with this ID. Before we publish images, we need to make sure that we're logged into Docker Hub from the Docker login. So let's do that now. We can do that with Docker login username and our name was Docker videos and it will prompt for a password. Okay, now we just need to publish the image. And the way this works is you can use the Docker push command and the name or the tag of the image that you use has to match a Docker Hub tag for it to push it out onto the Docker Hub. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tag the image we just built with the equivalent Docker Hub tag name or a location. So what we can do is we'll take the image ID that we had, we'll copy it, and then we'll run Docker tag the image, then we'll name it what the Docker Hub name would be, which is Docker videos hello world. Okay, and now if we list Docker images, we have Node Alpine, which is the base image, and we have the new image that we built called Docker Videos Hello World. Now that it's named correctly, we can push it up to the hub with this. Now this only works because we previously logged in with an account that had permission to push up to this directory. Let's switch over to Docker Hub and see what it looks like. So I am going to refresh the page. And you can see Lash pushed a few seconds ago. Now, other than that, um, this all looks pretty similar. So the real test is, can we delete the image from our machine completely and then pull the image like somebody that was new to using it would do? And will it work? So let's switch back. And you already saw here that we have the image. So let's go ahead and just delete all the images on our machine so we start fresh. And we can do that with a command like this, docker images with a Q which just says, just give me the IDs and we'll pass it to xargs docker rmi which says docker remove eyes for images. And in this case, we're just gonna remove every image and we will show the images to see it's totally empty. Now to verify that we can pull from Docker Hub, we can try pulling by the Docker Hub name or tag. So we'll do this, docker pull docker videos hello world. Now it's re-downloading all of the base uh, layers because we didn't have any of those. Uh, we've deleted them all. And now if we say docker images, 
you'll see that it's back. We have everything and we can run the image to make sure that it works. So we'll say docker run docker videos hello world. And it's an application listening on port 4000. And just to be very paranoid, let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, I forgot to expose the ports. And there you go. The image was pulled correctly. And now you're set up to share this wonderful, exciting web application with your friends or with a hosting provider on, in the cloud.